excited to see you this morning. Welcome back to our series, Ohana, where we've been pretending to be stranded on our own islands at home with our families. Ohana means family in Hawaiian, and during this series, we're learning what God wants us to know about family. We need to know what God says about families because he wants what is best for us. And that's our need to know today. God wants what is best for my family. Say that with us again. God wants what is best for my family. Very good. So today we're going to be learning about two people in the Bible. Their names are Hannah and Samuel. But before we do that, I want to go over our memory verse today. And we have two more weeks to learn our memory verse. You can send that to me over Facebook Messenger, over text message. So send me your Bible verse, you say your Bible verse, and I will bring you um, a special treat to your house. Okay, so let's say that together. Ready? Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Very good. And so at the end of this Bible story video, what I want you to do is take your Bibles and look up where we read in the Bible about Hannah and Samuel and about the story we learned today. And that can be found in 1 Samuel 1 and 3, Proverbs 22, 6, and Ephesians 6, 2. So stick around for the Bible story video and the songs, and Pastor Andre and I will see you at 11 a.m. for church. Aloha! God knows what's best, and he uses our family to help us, even when we don't understand. This reminds me of a woman in the Bible named Hannah. Hi, I'm Hannah. For years and years, Hannah wanted to have a baby, but never could. I really, really, really want a baby. Hannah was so sad that she couldn't have a baby. I'm really sad that I can't have a baby. <laughs> Hannah knew that God wanted what was best for her family. So she prayed and told him how she was feeling. God, I know you're in charge of everything, but I feel like you don't see me at all. If you give me a son, I promise I will give him back to you. While she was praying, a priest named Eli saw her talking to God and said, Hey Hannah, I've seen you praying. You can go home now and stop worrying. I'm sure that God will answer your prayer. It wasn't long until God did answer Hannah's prayers, and she had a baby boy. I'm going to call you Samuel. And when Samuel was very young, Hannah kept her promise and gave him back to God. Eli, Samuel can serve God here with you. Thanks Hannah, I'll teach him all I know. Samuel grew up living in the temple with Eli. That meant he spent his days serving. For you. Why, thank you. He also spent his days learning about God. Whoa. Late one night while Samuel was sleeping, he woke up because someone was calling him. What, huh? Who was that? Samuel thought it was Eli, so he ran to him and said, here I am. Did you call me? I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. So Samuel heard the voice two more times after that. Here I am. Did you call me? Here I am. Did you call me? Nope. But next time you hear the voice, say, speak. I'm listening. Okay, got it. Eli had realized the voice Samuel was hearing this whole time was God calling him. So when he heard it again, he said, speak. I'm listening. It was God, and he wanted to tell Samuel some things that would happen in the future. From that point on, Samuel knew God's voice. Speak, I'm listening. And obeyed him. Yes, sir. God blessed Samuel and used him to speak messages to his people. Hey, God's people, listen up. Samuel served God even when he was old and gray. Hey, God's people, listen up. All along, God had a purpose for Samuel's life and used his mother and Eli to shape Samuel for that very purpose. God has a purpose for everybody's life. That's why he tells us a lot about how we should live in our family. And we should obey what he says because God wants what's best for my family. Each other.
mother Love each other As brothers and sisters As brothers and sisters In honor others In honor others More than yourself More than yourself Romans 12, 10 Romans 12, 10 God gave us family We can help them love With gifts to each other From up above You and me Are the people we see We're all part of God's family Love each other Love each other As brothers and sisters As brothers and sisters Each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters.